An injury usually comes with a plaster cast, crutches, a neck brace, or a sling, but not a brain injury. It's often known as the invisible injury because many living with that type of injury have no visible scars. This is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and V. Cooper has more in tonight's Vital People. It looks like every other weekly running group meeting downtown midday to get some exercise. But these runners all have a brain injury. Everyone and their injury is very specific and unique. You can't just group everyone together. You kind of have to get to know them individually. One in 26 Canadians are living with an acquired brain injury. It's more prevalent than breast cancer, spinal cord injury, and HIV AIDS combined because it can happen from so many different things. Strokes from brain tumors, from aneurysms, but also through traumatic events, so a car accident, a bike accident, or even a sports accident. It's often called the invisible injury. Although I may look normal and I can do a lot of things, I'm not, it, I can't do everything that I used to be able to do. In December of 2010, Caitlin Saunders was rushed to hospital with sudden severe pain in her head. A CAT scan revealed a massive brain tumor. We got some of it. I still have it. And every six months, I have to go for an MRI and monitor it. The life-saving surgery left Caitlin with an acquired brain injury. She doesn't drive. She can't drive. But if you look at her, she doesn't look. She like anything's wrong with her. She can have a coherent conversation, um, but there has been major effects. The Victoria Brain Injury Society offers a card to each of their clients. So they can show that to, say, a bus driver or somebody else if they are acting in a way that seems unusual. VBIS started the walk and run program as yet another way to help support their clients. Individuals are able to meet with other individuals with acquired brain injuries. There's that social aspect of the group, but physical exercise is also really great for people with acquired brain injuries because it can help with memory, it can help with um, motivation and confidence. After I run, um, all the you know the blood has gone to my brain and stuff. And I can think more clearly and I just feel better. This has been a blessing for her. She just lights up when she comes here. I love coming here. I tell my family that because I always say these people understand me. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.